Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and this is a video on the causes of poor health. And this is a finite number of items that cause poor health. So the first one is heavy metal toxicity. The number one uh, heavy metal is uh, mercury, but there's cadmium, there's iron, there's lead. So that's one category that needs to be detoxed out of the body. Secondarily, we have chemical toxicity. We put chemicals in our food, we put chemicals in our environment, and there's thousands and thousands, there's tens of thousands of chemicals, and that needs to be cleaned out of our body. So you want to be detoxing every day. It's not just like a three-month cleanse or a three-week cleanse. You want to detox every single day with some herbs or some supplements. Number three, we have poor quality of food. That includes water too. So bad water, dirty water, um, toxic water. And then here we have um, genetically modified food. And we have, you know, the preservatives and stuff like that. So, or maybe you're allergic to gluten, so your body's really having a hard time with gluten. That would go under the category of poor quality of food. Then next one is the four bugs. So the four bugs are virus, bacteria, parasites, and fungus. And um, they can cause poor health. Up here we have scars. Scars can uh, confuse the nervous system. And I have an example. I have a scar right here over my heart. And it was causing horrible chest pain. And um, when I was 30, 31 years old, I didn't think I'd make it past the age of 35. And then I had, then somebody found out about this scar, and I, there's a way to treat scars. And then after three months, all my pain was gone. All my chest pain was gone. So scars can cause horrible problems. I have several patients whose body pain was caused by their surgical scars. That's happened three or four times in the last probably six or seven years. So scars can be a problem. Um, next, we have electromagnetic frequencies. That also includes radio frequencies. So that's cell phones and Wi-Fi, baby monitors, the smart meter or the electrical meter that's on the outside of your house. Um, they, they are known to cause harm to biological tissue, and it can raise um, or lower hormones. It can pull calcium out of the cells. It can melt DNA. This has all been researched. So that's a whole category of uh, things to address related to electromagnetic frequencies and chemical or um, radio frequencies. Here we have congestion or stagnation. So the, the way to fix that is just with this category of supplements called drainage and then avoiding dairy. So you can have congestion or stagnation of fluids anywhere in your body. It could be your sinuses, could be in your ears, could be in your liver or your lymphatic system. And most of your lymphatic system is right here in the intestines. So that can cause poor health. Lastly, I wrote genetic SNP, genetic SNP. And uh, that's actually a technical term. But um, genetic problems are um, caused from your parents or your great-grandparents eating bad food or being exposed to some sort of toxicity. And this is researched, you know, this is not something I just made up to just to entertain you. So something that your great-grandparents did like they swam in some toxic cesspool or something, it affects their DNA, and it affected your parents' DNA, and it can affect your, your DNA too. So the way you fix that is you have to detoxify, and you just do the normal things to get your body healthier. Eat good food, take good supplements, homeopathic remedies, and herbs. So this is it, the causes of poor health. And if you cover all this, you, get, you can get better. And um, if... This, if, I'm not, if I'm missing something, it's only going to be like 5% or less. This is pretty much covers the whole gamut of why your body is in poor health.